This video answers the question, what should be in a risk analysis? We're going to break it into three pieces. The risk assessment, the study of risk management, and the study of risk communication. So the risk assessment answers three questions that were presented by Kaplan and Gehrig in the first issue of the first volume of the journal Risk Analysis. They say that a risk assessment answers the questions, what can go wrong, what is the likelihood, and what are the consequences. This is directly from the definition of risk, a measure of the probability and severity of adverse effects. The what can go wrong provides a, a frame of reference of um, all the, the risk events that are concerning. The likelihood question answers two pieces. What's the likelihood of the risk event itself, or the probability or uncertainty? And what's the likelihood of the significant effects that we're concerned with? And then this third question is uh, this uh, creation of some kind of model or framework or mental model that helps describe how these risk events lead to uh, outcomes that are undesirable. The risk management then complements that by saying, what can be done? What options are available? What are the trade-offs in terms of cost, benefits, and risk? How do current decisions affect future options? These questions were proposed by Jakob Haynes in 1991 in the journal Risk Analysis for uh, describing what it takes to have total risk management uh, or systemic risk management. This first one is uh, a reflection of your understanding of the system. How do these risk events lead to the significant outcome? And your innovate, innovation and creativity for how do we stop these things from happening or how do we reduce the probability or what kinds of effects can we put in place that will change the, the basic construct. Uh, we want to answer the trade-offs in terms of cost, benefits, and risk because no mitigation comes without cost and no mitigation is perfect, so there will always be residual risks. In some ways, we're actually redoing the risk assessment over and over again, but in the context of the application of some kind of a risk um, mitigation that's been put in place or some kind of risk transfer that has taken place. Risk communication, then, is how do we affect this change? How do we... Um, uh, well, the questions are, what are the, who are the stakeholders? What are their roles, values, norms, and capabilities? And how do we articulate risk events, probabilities, consequences, trade-offs, and so forth to different publics? Not, uh, not everyone has the same understanding, same authorities. Um, Bill Lawrence actually said in his uh, book of acceptable risk, who, the ultimate question of risk is, who should decide what risks are acceptable to whom, under what circumstances, and why? And this, uh, this is trying to address the fact that uh, different stakeholders have different interests. They have different ability to understand. They've seen different uh, situations affect them. Um, they have different biases, cognitive biases, that might prevent them from understanding likelihoods and consequences. Um, and so as we determine the, the purpose objective of a risk analysis, we need to understand the stakeholders, and we need to then figure out different ways to articulate different risks to these different publics so that we can affect some kind of change. A risk analysis will answer, all, some, something in the risk analysis will answer all nine of these questions. What can go wrong? What's the likelihood? What are the consequences? What can be done about it? What are the trade-offs? And how do our current decisions affect future options? Because uh, our risk assessment is being done in a continuum of time that's never stopping. And so as we make decisions now, it changes the environment, which then changes the probabilities and consequences of the future, but it also changes our, the, the types of risk assessments that we might do. A simple example is that if we wait uh, until a hurricane hits so that we have certainty, then we can't preposition supplies in the same way that we could have if we would have taken action when the, the event was still uncertain. And then these last questions. How do we identify who the key stakeholders are, and how do we change the pieces of the risk message for those stakeholders so that it will uh, inform them and help them make the best decisions across the space? This is a risk analysis.